light will make a difference. Through sadness, we can see the light. Truth opposes the resistance. The shadows are what your heart will fight. Believe not in tomorrow, in tomorrow, for never is tomorrow sure. Pay no heed to your sorrow, for love is all you know is pure. Life will be constant. Life will leave you sad and cold. Believe until your heart's content, for fighting wrong is never bold. Heaven is in your thought. Paradise is all a state of mind. Evil is what you were taught, and paradise will be a blind. Trust not your mind, but truly trust your heart. For can only your heart be kind, and only love. My name is Issa Walker. I started writing poetry when I was about 12 years old. The reason why I started writing poetry because it helps me get through the day. It helps me calm down. It helps me get myself on track. I usually write po poems about my life, like how people influence on me, what I'm going through, what people are doing for me, like basically self issues that I feel as though I can't. It's like really. Project it out to people so I put it on paper so I know what I mean. The first poem I written, I was just so fed up with life that I was planning on ending it. But then when these words came to me, how life can be good, life goes through its up and downs. Like as I said, it can be constant or it can be fatal. That's your decision. You can prepare for it today. And don't have to go through it tomorrow, or you can just let today ride and just suffer tomorrow. Basically, that's what the first poem meant to me is about life, what decisions you can make, how good it can be. Open your eyes, your beloved is gone. You thought you had time, now you knew you were wrong. Depression from deception kept lying to yourself I never thought to listen to these friends who tried to help you just convinced you'll be there if you happen to return it's sad you couldn't see this is a lesson you should have learned that you can only accept another's love you cannot control their heart and other people's love may fade from so much time apart so open your eyes she's already gone she tried waiting for you but you waited too long my poems affect me by when I read or when I think about my life, like it all ties in together and I can put it in such a form where I can explain so anybody can answer. So that's what helps me get through the day, that's what helps me um, focus and everything. Basically, the second poem I've written is already gone. Well, this is about a bad breakup about me and my uh, last girlfriend. I acted stupid on this one because I couldn't make up my mind. I didn't know what I want because I was so focused on me. Like, what did I want? I was sick of I always put people first before myself. And people would tell me that that's wrong for me to do, but I'm used to it because that's who I am. So basically that poem describes all the heartache I went through during the three years that we uh, had, how much pain it was. And basically it's me letting everything go because in the end it was all my fault, basically. But I decided that People make mistakes. You make a mistake, like you make a decision. You can make like choices you make today. Like say if you need to make a choice right now. You so what you made it. Later on you will truly understand why you made a decision. Why you made that choice. Why you made that answer. Why you made that decision. And that's basically how it was with me.
Screw you, you liar. You stood to my face. Add a fuel to the fire. Put my soul in this place. Made me believe it. And deal with your lie. When nothing you said was true, you expect me to die. Then leave me alone. For your sealed your feet. No matter what you do, you'll die a terrible way. I'll never forgive you. This game is so old. Now I must move on. This world is so cold. Like a beast in the wind, you thought you slayed me. But my hate increased with that because you betrayed me. The third poem, you betrayed me. Well, I wrote this poem because I was betrayed by one of my closest friends, or a person who I thought was a friend. He had did some things that I didn't like and everything, and I was always find myself getting in trouble by this person. But like me, being me, I just ran back. You know, I forgave him and everything. But after this, it was the last straw. I couldn't deal with it no more. So basically, this is describing all the stuff that he did. He's a liar. He's a thief. Everything. Every little thing you can think of as bad, this person has did. Getting with your friends. So you think you could trust him in your home when you're not there. If you let that person go and you let him go in your house, he would take you and he would rob you. Basically, that's how bad it was. So basically, this poem is letting go. Letting my feelings out of how I really feel about this person. Well, basically, how I started in music was listening to old uh, jazz tracks. And I always wanted to know, like, what were they doing and everything? Why did they create the music they created? So basically, that inspired me to pick up an instrument and actually progress through it. I started playing music when I was about seven or eight years old. I started off playing the trumpet, then I slowly progressed to the clarinet, I was playing the clarinet for about eight years now. I felt as though the clarinet was one of the best instruments I ever played because the way it sounded, the way it was structured, it, the whole structure of it, it was different from other instruments. So I started playing that. I uh, had my first show when I was nine, was basically was an assembly for my class. Then when I was in ninth grade, I switched to the piano and I've been rapidly progressing through that. Other people thought it was annoying for me playing the same thing over and over again, but every time I played it, I seen something different or heard something different about the song. So that made me more interested in it, so I took the liberty to buy myself a keyboard or my mom bought me a keyboard. When I was in the 10th grade, I was beyond amateur level. And thanks to my teacher, Mr. Kennedy, he's booking me for shows and everything to play at the school. Music helps me escape a bad day, basically. When I play music, when I'm going through something, when I like my music just be right there, I just flick it on, start playing it, make stuff up, and I, I feel I'm better and everything. Listening to the soundtracks, listening to the piano players talk about the success makes me, really inspires me more as a person, as a pianist to pursue a career in it. So basically that's my love for music. Martial arts. Martial arts is the best thing, that, the best experience that I have in my life besides music and poetry. That describes the enemy part as poetry and music and martial arts all have their separate ties. Martial arts shows my bad side. So I use martial arts to get the physical anger out. Like I'm just so mad at somebody I can't take it. I would go punch the punching bag, I would kick the punching bag because I know what I'm doing. I got into martial arts when I was in about 1999, that's when I started going to my first class. Basically I studied two different arts, which is the art I'm in now is Kempo Karate, and my past art was Sanuka Jiu Jitsu. Then in 2002 I was awarded my yellow belt, 2003 I was awarded my green belt. 2005, I was awarded my orange belt. Before he breaks something out. It relieves me of the physical stress, mentally, physically, emotionally. 
and I'm just so pissed. I, I just think, meditate, work on my techniques, and I would, I would be feeling so much better because I actually got the stress out of my system, ready to explode on somebody. Music, martial arts, and poetry. Three different things. Both, all three of them are arts. Poetry describes the good in me, the absolute good side. Poetry is neutral, meaning that it's in the middle. It can like poetry can be sad, it can be angry, it can be happy, mixed emotions. So that's would basically decide to be neutral because it can go either way. Music describes the absolute good in me. I, I love playing music. Music is like why why I live. Martial arts describes the anger that I have in me. Like when I'm doing my techniques, I, it's like I'm angry. It's like I'm a beast on them. Like I don't have no, I have disregard for, I disregard for everybody. And how these three things tie in, it balances me out. Poetry being my core, music being my good side, and martial art being my bad side. So every, it's like a um, a balance beam. It can tilt either way or it can stay in the middle.